We are here at the Old Bank Antiques in Coldingham. Look at that. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Let's go in and see. Hello there. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Look at how we look at that. Look at those jugs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the turtle lamp. How much is it? See, uh, how much is that turtle lamp? Wow. I like these. Yeah, they're pretty cool as well, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, cool. There's loads. But and it's a box of fudge. Let's go upstairs. Oh, I like that. How much is that? Biggest look. I might get a couple of those. Oh, look at these. Wow. I know. So pretty. So much to look at. Do you want to scooch in here? No. Want to swap? Oh, okay. My brother and my son is waiting for me. Oh. I think Dave's been in a friend. Look at this. I mean, some of the prices are pretty good. I like these mugs here. These are too cute. That's their smug. Look at the lampshade. Oh my god. Okay. This I like. Let's see if I can get to it. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Epern or one of those car flower vases. These are cool. Oh, what? Four pounds. Oh my god. I'm gonna get them both. That's cool. Okay, I like getting those. Just this. Not being funny, but saw the same thing at a charity shop. Oh, it's cracked. Four thirty.
like to wear the ice bucket. Oh, they talking that man ear off, y'all, down there. <laughs> that man's like, I'm just trying to live my life. Why are you talking to me? Okay, so. I went to get a couple of things. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's pretty. Okay. I want to get a couple of things. So, <clears throat> my purse keeps getting in the way. I'm gonna get that. That's three pounds. I'm going to get the, all these, but I don't know how much they are. The whole price on them. Let's get these. These. They are prices. I've got some before. <clears throat> Alright, I also like these mugs. So there's six of these. So I think I might get all six. All four. What's this? Oh, that's a plate. Stay tuned for the haul at the end of this shop with me because I need to pick up some stuff and Dave clearly downstairs making friends so I have to carry all this stuff down by so rude. All right, guys, I will be back with a haul. Hi, welcome back to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. I'm Dolores, and I hope you enjoyed this shop along with me in Scotland. It was the third day we were there, and we went to a small coastal town called Dunbar and another coastal town called North Berwick. And then on the way back, we went to this little town called Coldingham which had an antique shop. So let's get into what I got. So uh, most of the stuff, oh wait, hang on. And then today I went to Fusion Antiques. Beside the point, I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, but my Scotland haul is this. So I, we went to a charity shop. There weren't many and they were rather pricey. And this is becoming a pattern. It's becoming a running theme here in the UK. From what I understand, it's a running theme in the US. So. Uh, I don't know. I need to go to a good car boot sale. <laughs> or do I? Because I have a lot of stuff on here. Okay, let's get into let's get into what I got. So, I went to this first charity shop and I got some really cute stuff. I got these. I they was like, why are you buying those? They, they, I love these. They're little tiny, uh, probably reproduction uh, pictures. They look almost like Hummel figures, almost unclear. They're in this. It's a metal frame. And there is some, you know, patina on the metal frame. They were a pound each. And you can see it's just the frame and then the picture is a little bit of cardboard in there. And that girl, see my cat likes to get in my wardrobe. So she's trying to get in. So I may have to put you on, you know, let me put you on hold and let her climb in because she loves it. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, she's safely tucked away in the wardrobe. She got tucked away. She wanted to go in there. Left the doors open. She's fine. She's perfectly fine. Okay, so I got, like I said, I got these pictures. They're very cute. And just by the frame, I feel like they're older. And again, they're probably, <laughs> again, they're probably reproductions. Unclear. I thought they'd be cute on a little gallery wall with some, maybe some little wall pockets. Why don't you just, oh, how cute would that be? But I thought they were cute. See? And here's that one. I don't know why. I just thought they were cute. And Dave was like, really? You're really getting those? Yes, I really am. So, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll put them in a, a job lot. I just think they should go to a good home. This is a cruel uh, picture. Is it cruel? Is it embroidery? Christine from Side Street Market. What is it? <laughs> Christine. Oh, yeah, the girl. So it is, I think it's cruel because it's long, it's a long stitch of cruel. I don't, I don't I can't remember. She told me once and I can't remember. So I got this lovely painting, a um, cruel picture. 
embroidered picture. We'll go with that. It was £2.50. That's the back. And I just, I love these. This and these, like a little gallery wall. Oh, it's going to be so cute. And maybe a wall pocket thrown in just for good measure. That'd be really cute. So I got this. This is £2.50. And the embroidery is really, it's just oh, so, so pretty. I love it. I, lo I like the back, the black background as well. I think that's pretty cool. So I got that for £2.50. And then from the charity shop, I got this. This I loved. I saw this and snatched this sucker up. Now, it was five pounds, which is, you know, a little high for Dolores. <laughs> but it's this uh, Anglian pottery. So it's called Anglian pottery. I don't know much about it. It is British pottery made in England. I don't know a lot about Anglian pottery. I've seen it, and it's technically, it's always in this kind of like, wonderful teal color but it was an owl and hello i mean who doesn't love an owl and it is marked on the bottom ap and mold number and this here and here is a glaze skip so there's a couple of glaze skips there other than that he's in wonderful condition i did pay five for him i mean he's england pottery i tend to see it a lot and it's usually on the higher end not high high end but like middle to high end so depending on what the it is but i thought that was cute so i got that for five pounds right so then on the way back i went to another charity shop there wasn't much there on the way back we stopped into this village called coldingham because i looked up to see if this you know uh antique store was open and it was and we went and the, and the gentleman was really really nice super nice man uh this older gentleman he retired you know just run his little antique shop he was super nice so i got these now i had these before i think i showed them on my video but i got six of them so there were six of these and i got all six of them uh some of them are in better condition than others some have some scratch on the bottom which you know to me it says someone used it it's not on the not up here it's down here so these mid-century modern uh candle holders the prices prices used to make matches and candles and all kinds of things and they also made these candle holders so i will probably sell them two by two like noah's ark two by two i will sell them two by two and uh so instead of two uh, i paid one pound fifty each for these which again i wasn't too i'll tell you why i wasn't mad about it because so these were one pound fifty each i was like okay cool that you know that's fine um you know when something's a pair so three pound for the pair all right i paid for it. uh not a problem. So I got these and then I was look I went upstairs, looked around upstairs, and I found this. Now you, this is probably also in the video where I saw there was a pair of these. Unfortunately, the other one of these had chips and broken bits off the feet. Or well, I was going to grab them both. And this was four pounds. So it is a glass, and I don't know how old this is. I feel like this is pretty old. Unclear. So uh the uh it's got the applied bottom on it it's a glass vase it's got these are they're purple in the light so i feel like the grapes could be olives i'm, I'm gonna go with grapes these two uh purple grapes and this uh, uh, that, that are applied and the applied leaves i just loved it i wish both of them were in excellent condition i bought them both but because one of them had chips on the feet and i mean they were badly chipped on the feet so i went ahead and just got the one for four pounds and i just think it's really pretty so i like that Really nice. All the feet are in really good condition. It's just so pretty. So I got that for four pounds. And then he had, there was a couple of things that didn't have, the candle stakeholders didn't have prices on them. So he kind of had to do it on the spot. And then I got this. This is the next thing I saw. <laughs> this long, thin planter. I love these things. I've had some green ones like this. I've had some log ones. I've had all kinds of little planters like this. I really do like these. And it's Silvac. Made in England, Silvac. This was three pounds. I wasn't mad at it. I was like, thank you, sir. Because he's like, oh, just three pounds. I was like, because there was no price on it. So, um, yeah, I got this. And I thought this was really perfect for what? Autumn. Autumn fall. So I got that. The next thing I got from that place was this. I got this beautiful again another autumn very autumn inspired very autumn colored piece again it has got this lovely it's almost like oops sorry reminds me of a shell 
the rhizome of a shell or something sea urchin -y. And the bottom says Silvac, made in England. It is two pound 50 I paid for this. I mean bargain. So of course I snatched that up. Right, so that was my haul from Scotland. That's all the things I got from Scotland. Again, it wasn't loads. I didn't really go there for that. Well, yeah, I kind of did. <laughs> I mean, mainly it was to relax, get away. But then today, today, I went to Fusion Antiques. Oh, I, I stopped by just to see what was left in my booth because I knew I was going to come back tomorrow, uh, the next day, and put my autumn display up for that one. Because I've done Harrison's, I've done uh, balls overs and now I'm going to do fusion. So I've got to swap things out and everything and put my uh, autumn display up. And while I was there, I bought some things. I did. Now, <laughs> now, <laughs> let me explain myself. <laughs> let me grab the first thing. Uh, and a poly bottle. With the stopper, shut up. Stopper's in really good condition. She had another one there that was like a yellowy amber glass, but it had the stopper, but it didn't have the plastic bit on it. So I don't know, should I have gotten it? I don't know, anyway. So this, it says made in Italy on the bottom. If you see that, this was 35 pounds. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I know, I know, I know. Stop yelling at me, I know. I don't know, I didn't think that was bad for the poly bottle. I, with the with the stopper, these alone go for so much money. Because uh, I have I have one uh, different, like an olive green one, but I am desperately trying to find a uh, topper for. Can I? No. And when I do, it'll be as much as this bottle costs. <laughs> so, uh, thirty five. Uh, I don't know how tall it is. It's twelve above twelve. That's about fourteen. Fourteen to sixteen inches tall. I wasn't mad about it. I, honestly, I was like, sure. But this is for me. Oh, this is for my use until I get bored of it and sell it. <laughs> That's usually how it works. That's the first thing I got. The second thing I got for me, maybe, and the, uh, this up. So that was 35. This was 10, which again, I didn't think was a bad price for. Look at this jug. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Look. Same on both sides. Perfect condition. It is, hang on, West German. And it has a mold number on the bottom. So West Germany. It kind of gives me fat lava vibes a little bit. A little bit fat lava vibes. Got a little schmutz on there. Gotta get off. Little, but isn't that pretty for autumn? All the way till Christmas you can use this. This is stunning. I love this. This is, it's, it's, I mean, here's my head. Look. <laughs> a big head. So, I think it's a stunning piece. I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I need that in my life. So I bought it for 10. So those two things are for me. So when I was picked this thing up, I said, how much is this? And she said, oh God, it's 10. You can have it for free. Stunning. Stunning. Beautiful. Welcome to the stage. <laughs> Sexy. It is Brentley wear. Made in UK, made in England. It's got a mold number. Not a thing wrong with it. Look at the curves of that. I say this was probably from the 40s. The coloring is this brown and blue kind of sea foam. I don't know how to describe it. For free. I mean, I did pay for the two races, the jug and the empoli. But she said, take that. You can have it. Let's take it. She had this glass uh, jug up there on the top shelf, and I saw it, and I thought, oh, when I go back tomorrow, <laughs> I'll buy it. <laughs> I need to stop. I'm out of control. Right, so I got this. I love this. I think it's really pretty. I think it's great. I just, it's, it, 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 it here's the thing. The colors can fit into so many seasons, and that's what I liked about it. And it's Brentley Ware, and Brentley Ware is very nice pottery. Right, so that's my haul, y'all. What was your favorite thing? Now... From my Scotland haul, my favorite thing uh, was probably this. It's probably this little here owl. He's my favorite thing. Love, love, love. Love it a lot. It's really cute. So I love this. And then my next favorite thing, or my favorite thing from Fusion, the Empoli bottle rocks. Don't get me wrong. I love the Empoli bottle. I, 
chef's kiss. But I'm gonna actually say this. This is actually my favorite thing. This is just so good. It's just so good. I don't know about what about it just screams to me. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the haul. Let me know in the comments which item was your favorite thing. And I will see you next time. And you guys take care. Bye.